What's up guys, JT Postman here. We are back with another episode of our Winnipeg Jets BGM mode and in the last episode we we're just trying kind of cruising through the regular season. The uh, the first part of it we played 25 games. We're up at the beginning of December. We're 13-11-1 so not the greatest record but we are at a playoff spot. We're in the wild card position uh, and it's a little bit too early to be looking at the standings. I mean really uh, realistically points wise we're not too far behind the top teams in our division. So uh, we're just going to keep going. Locker room chemistry is 79% and going up, so that's not bad. Uh, we've still got 61 days till the All-Star game. Nobody is currently injured. So yeah, let's just keep on cruising through the regular season and uh, hope that no one else gets injured. All right, so let's just simulate up to the beginning of January. Oh, there's a shootout loss to the Winnipeg or to the uh, uh, Toronto Maple Leafs. We get a point out of that. Very nice. The Washington Capitals, another loss there. Oh, and a 6-0 loss to Divisional. Oh, no, back spasms. Tyler Myers down till the 17th. All right, so he's going to miss about three games at most. All right, so let's head the lines. That's a big one. Top four defensemen. All right, uh, I'm fine with just putting... Um, yeah, let's just put party in there. Substituting all lines. It's only a few games. Now, we can make trades, because I do want to make the playoffs, but I don't want to... Uh, I don't know. Uh, hold on. Uh, oh, man, Adam Party goes down. He's down to the 18th. All right, so they're coming back at about the same time. So Party comes in, plays one game, and gets hurt. All right, defense. Uh, looks like Jay Harrison, after all this time, is getting time. Actually, you know what, Jay Harrison? You're, you're not going to play. You're actually, you're actually not going to play. Uh, let's... Uh, Wait, how do we... Roster moves. We're bringing up Paul Postma. Uh, yeah, okay. I know, I know the lines are messed up. That's why I'm going to roster moves. All right. Uh, oops. In the system. Um, all right. Is Paul Postma... Actually, we can go through one of these guys. Uh, all right. Who's... Who's better? 84, 84, 86. I'm really only looking at defensive category. 84, 80, 40, 46. Oh, come on. GM mode, it's, it is unresponsive. I don't like that. But, uh, yeah, it looks like... Looks like Chirot is better. Yeah, we're going to go with Chirot here. Confirm. He's already got great morale. Right now, he's going to be even better when we bring him up here. Edit lines... All right. This I'm going to make the move. Put Stewart up there. It's only for a couple games. Substitute. Now we're going to have to go through all these lines and make the changes. Special teams. Mark Stewart. So Stewart's going to get some better morale because of ice time. Which is good. Format, man. Tyler Myers plays everywhere. It's a big injury. Time consumer. Only kill. Um, Enstrom. We can put Enstrom on the penalty kill. I'm not gonna mess with all like the different spots and everything that they'll play. It's it's fine just for a couple games. All right, Tobias Enstrom. I really like the new morale system. I really do. It, it really. It adds so much more character to the GM mode and everything like that, so it's it's a big improvement from the last game, from the previous games. Uh, three on three, yeah, we'll just go with Chirot in there. There you go. His morale is just through the roof right now. All right, so those were a couple of big ones. Uh, invalid lines. Yeah, it's for the AHL, best lines. Patrick Cormier, all right, you can become that. Now, there were a few players that wanted to meet with me. Oh, my God. <laughs> I I do and don't like when guys come back early because it is good, but it, you know, because they're back. But at the same time, now I've got to put Chirot down again. But the good, good news for him is, I guess, is that he's only getting scratched. He's not, you know, he's not going back to the minors. So at least he can be happy about that, I guess. So Myers are going right back up here. Welcome back, Myers. Um, 
Slot him in. Oh, not him. Myers. Tyler Myers. Oh, man. Tyler Myers plays everywhere. That was a great trade for Winnipeg. Tyler Myers for Evander Kane. That was a great trade for them. Uh, yeah, this is... Yeah, Enstrom didn't play that before. All right, extras. Myers is there. Uh, hold on. Three on three. Needs to be fixed, I'm pretty sure. E no, it doesn't. Okay. All right. Tyler Myers, welcome back. I'm pretty sure I have to meet with a couple guys. Oops. Switch to the AHL. Why did switch there? All right. Pretty sure some guys, yeah, two-player meetings. Morale. I can hold a team meet. Wow, it went down to 76%. <laughs> Just... Uh, oh my god, Jay Harrison wants to meet with me again. I don't like to complain about my ice time is something that is distracting me as of late. Well, you're 76 overall. <laughs> you're not going to play. Look, you have to prove to me that you deserve more. Uh, see the point you're making on consider some possible... No, you, you need to prove to me. You need to get your overall back up, man. You need to do some training. Positive effect. There you go. Yeah, I just, uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to make him listen here. He's, he needs to... He just needs to get his overall back up, and I'll gladly play him. Being up in the NHL is definitely overdue. Thanks for the call. up. Wow. All right. Way to be uh, full of yourself there. He's a seventh defenseman, so, I mean, he's not actually going to play, but maybe he did play one game, but I don't think he played. Um, No spot on this team is guaranteed. Working hard is the only thing that would keep you up here. There you go. Negative effect. I don't care. Get out of here. You need to. You can't just come in here and think and, and tell me that you should have been here in the first place. All right, hold team meeting. Let's see. The media wrote us off before that one. However, we shouldn't be in the position to have the be the underdog to pull off the upset. We had a lot of pressure. Um, and we came through in spades, just like I knew we would. Yeah, we'll just do that. And Sherat doesn't like that. Whatever, man. I don't care. You're off the team. He's going to go down just like Harrison. That's all right. Our chemistry is down to 76 going down. All right. That's fine. Record is not looking too good. That's right. We're that type of team, like I said before. Uh, I would like us to make the playoffs, but if we don't, it's not like the end of the world. You know, it's not like, you know, I don't, I, I didn't expect us to, you know, compete for the cup in year one. All right. Scouting assignment. I wouldn't be opposed Getting a uh, a good draft pick. Oh uh, yeah, let's just keep. I ah, don't know. Let's got defensemen now. I don't think we need defensemen really, but uh, Adam Party has returned to the lineup. He will now begin to count against your salary cap over the limit. All right, go to roster moves. All right, is Harrison still up here? Yeah, Harrison, you're going down. Go down there. I got Party staying up here. Lost morale for being sent down. Harrison is just. Oh man, he's so miserable right now. Uh, there's some players that would like to meet with you. All right. I bet one of them's... Har oh, I know. It can't be Harrison now because he's gone. Oh, all right. So the chemistry went back up to 79. All right. So it's Adam Party, who's not playing currently, and Mark Stewart. All right. There are other guys who deserve to be scratched before I am. Really? Really? <laughs> if you don't approve, you'll need to get used to watching from the press box. Yeah, I'll be a jerk right back. There you go. I don't care. Positive effect. All right. I guess they like... Uh, I guess they like being tossed around. All right, cool. They like to be pushed back. I know everybody makes mistakes, but management seems to have made its fair share lately. What? What? Your job is to focus on playing, not evaluate the front office. Go back to your. Go back to your. Um, your locker. Oh my God! Positive effect. All right. These guys like it when I boss them around. Good. They understand. I'm the boss here. Yeah. All right. Yeah, everyone's trending up now. Whole team meeting. Let's get these guys up even more. Comebacks like that one sure fans to stay in the seats until the final whistle. But you pull off a great comeback. We shouldn't have been... Why, why is this the same thing every single time? I'm proud you didn't implode and turn the game into a rout. You should all be proud. All right, nobody should be against that. Except for Chirot. <laughs> oh, that's great. All right, we're still at 79%. All right. Uh, Josh Morrissey, that's Manitoba. It's a big one, though. Morrissey, hopefully he gets a lot better soon. The Rangers, can we beat them? No. Man, we are just not a good team. 
Cop has been injured. That's a minor league player. At the end of this month, we'll take a look at the standings. But, man, we're not doing good. Strain hamstring, December 28th. He won't be out that long. He won't be out that long. Uh, you know what? Lowry is the leader on this team, apparently. Let's get him up there. Let's get him some playing time. Uh, who's scratched for forwards? Frazier. All right. Frazier was the guy in the last episode that uh, he kind of ripped us a little bit. Well, let's give him some third line time. See what he see what he does. Show me what you got, Frazier. Was Stafford on any other line? No, he wasn't. Uh, Manitoba, best lines. So Stafford only plays top six time. Truba. Oh, that's a big... Ah, uh, no, it's only until December 28th. Uh, you know what? Assistant coach replaces player. He's not even going to miss a game. Uh, edit lines. All right, so Lowry, sorry about that, buddy, but you're coming back down here. Come on, click on him. Oh, my God, it's so unresponsive. All right, Frazier, you're getting out of the lineup. Drew Stafford. There we go. Now is... Is he going to come back before injury or before it, uh, before it ends? Yes. All right, so Truba. Defense. Where is it? We're at Party. <laughs> Adam Party got top line time. Well, there you go, Party. I mean, you didn't get to play on the top line, but you were there on the depth chart for a little bit. Truba. There you go. All right, the Pittsburgh Penguins, Detroit Red Wings, Arizona Coyotes. There we go. 5-0 winning against the Penguins. And then a 5-3 loss. Man, we just can't get anything going here. Oh, my God. All right. Stafford again. Uh, well, we'll go. We'll manually do that because that's a very small change. That's just moving a couple guys up and down. Uh, Halish Chuck, you go over here. Thorburn, you can come up. And then Frazier, you can play the fourth line. Oh wait, did that just put Frazier on like the penalty kill? I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to do that. Hold on. Lowry, no, it didn't. Okay. Some players that like to meet with you. All right, I love this part. It's so cool when players like approach you like this. You get to really feel like the character, like this Tarot guy. I know this guy. He's a. He wants to play. I understand that, but like he can't. Uh, he can't be pushy with it right now. We've got a good defensive core. Good performances is something that just come naturally to me. Obviously. You're not even on the you're not even on the team, dude. I've seen better. It takes a lot to impress me. I expect more. Yeah, negative effect. I could care less. Get out of here. Yeah, look at these guys. Look at our leaders, our presence for Marcel Gotch. These guys are the guys I want on my team. I don't need no Charot guy on my team. These seventh defensemen really need to know their roles here. They can't be coming to me telling me how good they are, they're supposed to be or how good they want to be. All right, um, like literally, you're only hurting yourself that way. I mean, if you don't say anything, then eventually, when I need you, I'll use you. But if you go against me, I'm not even going to use you when I when I actually may need you. Oh, all right. Somebody already wants to meet with me. I just simulated like one day. You guys can't go any any length of time without me. Disengaged. All right. So Matt Frazier once again he's disengaged. What do you guys say this time? I see. <laughs> I see you finally have. Put me in the lineup. Good call. Good call. All right. Well, I hope you take this chance. You've been given a run with it. There's very little room for error. Yeah, Frazier. Yeah, negative effect. <laughs> oh, Frazier. I really, I, I really don't like you, man. Team meeting. That was one of our best ones of the year and our biggest games of the year. Still play better. Don't get complacent. Huge wins like that are why we play the game. Save the moment. Go celebrate. If your game is important, I need more from all of you. I feel that the guys can pull off more. Pull it off more often. Yeah, we need to. We need more wins here, boys. We can't. Oh my God! Look at all the more I lost. I don't care. We need to wake up here. I mean, I don't care if we win one in three games. We're losing, guys. All right, let's uh, let's look at the stats here. I know we're way out of it, but let's look at player stats. See who's not producing. I guess if there's anyone that is. All right, so Andrew Ladd is 34 points in 37 games. Andrew Ladd is being a beast for us. Mark Shifley, 31 and 37. That second line center, he's doing great. He's gonna get. He's gonna get good. Blake Wheeler, 30 points. That's good. Perot, almost 30. That's good. Bufflin, 28 points on the point. That's very good. Brian Little, 28. I uh, could be doing better on the first line. I don't know why he's not playing with Lad. 
I mean, playing with Laddie, he should be uh, he should be getting more points. Stafford, when he's in the lineup, he's doing well. Uh, Enstrom's been doing well at the point. Even Burmistrov, 12 points plus, or, uh, or not minus four, I was looking at penalty minutes. But 12 points in the fourth line, that's pretty good. He's got more points than Gotch on the third line. Look at this, look at this Chirot guy. Where, where was he? Where, is he not even, is he not even showing up here? I guess not. But, uh, for Frazier, I mean, four points in 13 games. Not horrible, but I mean, come on. Party, no points in six games. Harrison, one point, minus, minus one. I mean, he's got no, he's got nothing to pitch to me right now. As far as keeping him in the lineup. All right. Pavlik and Hutchinson. Hutchinson is just garbage this year. Pavlik's not awful, but he's not good. Yeah, those are not the greatest numbers. Not the greatest numbers. Now, see, this is the type of team I think we are. I don't think we're a team right now that goes out and trades for a veteran to try to make the playoffs because I think at this point it's going to be tough for us to make the playoffs unless we go on a huge streak. And is it that important for us in year one to make the playoffs? Is it that important? Or would we rather just take a top 10 pick or something like that? Because if we do make the playoffs and we lose, then it's kind of like, oh, well, we didn't get a great pick. And, you know, uh, I don't know. But I don't want to let the best fans in the league down here in Winnipeg. You know, I don't want to I don't want to just miss the playoffs and not even, you know, without even really caring about it. You know, we've got to uh, look at St. Louis, bottom of the division. It's insane. Uh, let's see where we stand in the West. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, not wow. So we're actually competing for a wild card spot. We have thirty six points. Minnesota's got thirty six. San Jose, all these teams are right behind us, but Minnesota's got thirty six. We're tied with them. Arizona's got forty one. They're not out of reach. Only five points. Calgary seven points out of reach. Uh, I mean, if we start winning now, we could make the playoffs. I mean, if we wanted to make a trade, we could. I'm not going to look at all the individual, like, power play and all that kind of stuff. Um, we're just going to... We're going to look at what we can get here. Um, trade and improve. Let's see what teams are willing to give up. All right, proposed trade. Let's just look at some, uh, some teams. See what they're willing to give up here. All skaters. Uh, skaters matching block. Right, they're not really get, willing to give up anybody. Arizona. Shane Doan. Uh, can we see if he's a leader from this screen? Third line score. I want to know if he's a leader or not. Because it's good if you can trade for like leaders and stuff. To help out your chemistry and help out uh, you know, everything like that. But I don't, I don't see anywhere where it says he's a leader. So he's got good morale. I don't know if he can afford the salary though. Under contract, that doesn't say he's a leader. Yeah, so I don't know. Boston, Rusk. Okay, so they're willing to give up their young guys. All right. Legwand and Gianta. No, we're not going for either one of those guys. I want somebody like, uh. Somebody at least like 80, someone at least like 84, 84, 85. That'd be great that we could put on like the top six, give power play time and stuff like that. Like a Jerome McGinley or even a Yarmir Yager, Florida, like all those teams are always willing to give up Yager. Colorado's probably looking to get rid of McGinley. Yes, they are. He's got low trade value, but he's got two years left. We won't be able to afford that. Actually, we will. Oh, I thought, actually, oh no, I, I thought we were tighter, I thought we were closer to the cap than that. Never mind, we'll be able to afford it. I thought it said before we were close, never mind. Yes, yeah, so we could get a Ginla if we really wanted to. Uh, I'd rather get like a sniper because we don't have, actually, do we even have a sniper on our team right now? I'm trying to think. Little, Lad, and Wheeler, none of them are snipers. And then Perot, Shifley, and Stafford, no, we don't have a single sniper. No, then nobody on the bottom six is a sniper. So, no, we do not have a single sniper in our, on our offense right now. So, a guy like Yarmir Yager would be perfect. He's top six forward, 5.3 million. That won't matter because he's only one year left. Probably end up retiring. 
So Yarmir Yager is a guy we can look at. All right, nobody in LA. Minnesota, nope. Montreal, nope. New Jersey, Zubris, nah. I want that sniper. I'm surprised they weren't giving up uh, Eliash. Oh, because they already traded him. <laughs> look at that. And now the Islanders are looking to give him up. I know we're not. We're not going to go after Eliash. The Rangers, they're willing to give up Brady Shea. Why would they do that? I don't know, man. <laughs> that doesn't make much sense to me. All right, Ottawa, Phillips and Neal. We don't need those guys. Maybe we could try to pick up like a guy like Phillips. You know, maybe pick up a depth defenseman for the for a potential playoff run if we wanted to. But I mean, we don't. We don't have to. Um, Joe Thornton, Patrick Marlowe, Joel Ward. Not Joel Ward's. He signed for yeah three years, and these guys have two years left. I mean, we could go out and, and get a Marlowe. You know, a sniper, eighty-eight. After this year, he may drop to like an 86 or an 87, which would still be great. Um, and then maybe retire on our team. But, uh, I don't know. I just don't think trading for like a 36-year-old is what this team needs. Well, like, uh, I mean, like, I know Yager's older. But I mean, like, he's got two years left. Like, somebody with term, I don't think is something that we need. You know, worrying about an older guy with cap. And years left into the future. You know, I, I just don't think we need to worry about that. Guys, one year's left. One year left. That's what we're looking at right now. All right, so we looked at all the teams. And the best option, really the only option, was Yarmir Yager. He's 86 overall. His morale is good. So hopefully he's a leader. Which it doesn't say anywhere. But hopefully... Unless you guys... Let, let me know if you see anywhere where it says he's a leader. Because I'm still uh, getting used to all this. But, um... We could actually, does, oh, Willie Mitchell is one year left as well. We could pick up Willie Mitchell in this deal as well. He's actually listed, or no, it's his potential. I always mix that up. Why does it put their potential there? I'd rather have their role up there. I was going to say, he's a top four defense, but no, he's not. Top six. Because Willie Mitchell has a, a great defensive category, a good physical category as well. He'd be a great defenseman to have for the playoffs. 85 poise if we're trying to make the playoffs. So, yeah, we could throw Willie Mitchell in the deal. And Yarmir Yager, top six forward. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's great everywhere offensively. Even defensively, he's not bad. Yeah, I think uh, Yarmir Yager and Willie Mitchell. Let's see if we can get these two guys. This is a playoff move right here. We're officially trying to make the playoffs. I would... I would rather not give up draft picks for this deal, but it may have to happen. All right, all skaters. Let's see. Not giving up any of these guys. Obviously, no, no, no. Cosmo Chuck, no. We're hanging on to all of our young guys. We're not giving up any young guys for this trade. Drew Stafford, we could trade. I mean, he's got two years left at 4.3, which isn't bad. I mean, I'd rather keep him than have him on the third line. Nicholas Patan, nope, Armia. I mean, Joel Armia, how old is Armia? No, he's 22. He's a playmaker, though. I mean, give a Joel Armia. Because Kosmachuk is a young right winger. And he's like a two-way forward, isn't he? Yeah, he's a two-way forward. Lowry's a young guy. He's a two-way forward. Uh, yeah, two-way forward. Ehlers is a playmaker. Yeah, he's a playmaker. Nicholas Patan's a playmaker, and then, uh, what's his name? Shifley's a playmaker. We just don't need another playmaker. And he's only got top nine low potential, so we can trade Joel Armia in this deal. Definitely willing to give that up. Right, let's see what else we can let go of here. We can expend. Um, Blumquist. He's got high bottom six forward potential. 20 years old. Now we don't, get, don't want to get rid of him. High bottom six forward. Brendan Lemieux. We can just get rid of both of the uh, the old Buffalo guys. Brendan Lemieux. He's 74 overall, 19 years old, power forward. But he's only got low top nine forward potential. Hmm. He was almost a first round pick. Uh, 
Kostelik, 63 overall, 20 years old. What's his potential like? High 7th defenseman. Harkins, low, top knot, what, posi what position? Or what player? He's a playmaker. Yeah, we can get rid of this Harkins guy. Because he's only low, top 9 potentially. He's only 62 overall. I know he's 18, but... And he's a playmaker, which we have plenty of playmakers, especially in the center position. So, Yarmir Yager, a top six sniper who can play power play time, who's going to help us make the playoffs. And Willie Mitchell, in case of injury, to help us in the playoffs as well. And then and they want to give them both up. And Joel Armia and what's this, what's this guy's first name? Uh, Jansen Harkins. We're not going to use either one of these guys in the future. I don't see either one of them as a future fit on our team. Trade value adds up, but they don't want these two guys. So let's see. We, we could add like a later pick if this doesn't go through, but let's just see if it goes through. Joel Armia and Jansen Harkins for Yarmir Yager and Willie Mitchell. We'll go through. Uh, oops. What? Oh, what is this? Roster moves summary. Uh, okay. Oh, it's accepted. All right. Lost morale for anxiety with his new team. That's all right. Same thing for Mitchell. Lost morale for any, yeah, having anxiety. Multiple morale changes for the quality player, Yarmir Yager. That's cool. So the guys are happy about that acquisition. Trade accepted. That was a very good move. We acquired two guys to help us out making it to the playoffs and also in the playoffs for two guys who were never going to play on our team. That was a great trade. Making moves. Our first trade, the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, forwards. We have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve with one backup. Alright, that's good. Yager's in there now. Alright. Defense. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah, we have a couple too many defensemen. Sharat, what was this guy saying? He was like Is is this the guy that was saying that he was too good to be on the bench or whatever? He said something like that. Yeah. Now he's going down to the minors. How do you feel about that? Lost morale. I really don't care, man. Uh, so now we've got Adam Party and Willie Mitchell as injury call-ups in case some of these guys get injured. So that's really good. Yeah, we just improved big time. All right, edit lines. All right, uh, yeah, back to edit lines. All right, so let's put Yager into the lineup. Yep, Jarmir Yager. Substitute. Stafford's injured, so this actually works out for right now, too, because Yager can just pop right in there. Yager's going to stay there, though. Stafford is going to go down to the... Uh, he's going to go down to the... I don't know what's it called. Wait, I'm just trying to see this. If I move... Okay, yeah, it tells me the position. All right, so... Yeah, because Stafford's going to fill in here. Thorburn's going to go down, and then Frazier will leave the lineup. Alice Chuck... You're going to play here for now. Frazier, you're going to move over here. And then Stafford was bumped down every one by one. All right, there we go. There's the offense. Defense stays the same. Yep. Special teams. All right, this is where Yager really fits in. Frazier was on the power play. All right. Um, Yager, you slide in there. Change. Go. Four-man power play. We can keep him off of that. Penalty kill, he's not going to play. Extras, uh, four on four continued. He's going to play there. Yarmir Yager. Three on three. No, he's not going to play in any of those lines. Extra attacker. Nope. And shootout. Uh, shootout. Now nah, we'll leave him out of the shootout. Yager's not a big time shootout shooter. Goalies. Let's say same scratched. So we got a couple guys scratched. There we go. All right, so those are the new lines. I like it. Uh, best lines for the AHL. There you go. So now you've got Peluso. Oh, Peluso got sent down. How did that happen? He was on the team. Hmm. I guess because we've got Frazier now. Yeah, we don't need Peluso. Now that I think about it. He's got medium potential for bottom six forward. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how he does down there. All right. Very good move. Let's see if our uh, chemistry or anything went up. Yeah, it went up to 82. Five player meetings. All right. Uh, now let's actually see from this screen. Is Yager a leader? 
Is it listed him as a lead as a leader? I would think so, right? Why is it in the AHL? That's why I said five guys. Uh, no, he's neutral right now. Willie Mitchell's a presence. That that might go up. We'll see. All right. Glad to join the team via trade. It's a privilege to be here. Thank you, Willie Mitchell. See, this is why you pick up these these uh these veteran guys. Welcome aboard. I think that was a trade that will leave both teams happy. I think we got a fair deal with that trade, so don't let me down. You know you can bring a lot to the table, which is why we traded for you. Go prove it. There you go. Negative effect. Ah, oh, get out of here, Mitchell. Uh, it's a dysfunctional family. You just got here, Yager. Thanks for the input, but I'm happy with the group we have. Positive. I don't know. The, I, from now on, I'm just going to pick the... I'm just going to pick the response that I think they don't want to hear. And then it'll probably give them a positive impact. I don't know. I think it's kind of all over the place. Try to be a nice guy, and they don't like it. All right. All right, let's just simulate up here. The one thing I don't like about this game, though, is that uh, it's a small thing, but in the last game, you could actually click on the All-Star game and go in and view the lines of the two teams to see which one of your players, like, if any of your players made the All-Star team. But in this game, it uh, it doesn't let you go into it. You can't even, like, play the All-Star game or anything. All right, it launched manually, so this is going to be uh, a good move right here. Now, this is our team. This is the team that we're going to have now. So how is Chuck gets bumped down? Thorburn. Oh, wait, no. You guys switch. And then Frazier coming out of the lineup. For Stafford. That's all the time that Stafford's going to get. How good is Stafford's defensive category? That's okay. All right. Now let's see if we start winning games. Below 500 right now. Buffalo, that's a big win. San Jose, there we go. Now we're getting some wins. Some players would like to meet with me, all right. All right, so we've got Dustin Bufflin, a leader here. You know, I really have to admit I'm thrilled with my playing time lately. Well, you deserve it, Bufflin. Great, we found a good balance that seems to work. No effect, all right. <laughs> I give him a pretty good count. Oh, look at that. He jumped up to 90 overall because of the morale. That's great. Andrew Ladd got up to an 89, Enstrom's an 86, Scotch an 83, Halschuk's an 82, Lowry 83, Burmistrov 80, Thorburn 81, uh, Hutchinson 83. There you go. So those are all the guys that jumped up. Oh, and I just saw that we're up to 83% now for locker room chemistry. Ah, uh, well, that's a big loss to Nashville. Oh, there's a win against Minnesota. Ooh, Adam Lowry's injured till the 23rd. No, he's only going to be out for a couple games, I think. At least he was on the third line. That's uh, not a huge one. Slot, uh, slot Hallis Chuck in there. Um, Frazier. Substitute. There you go. All right, so, we're just going to simulate up to the All-Star break here, and I think we're going to call it a video. It's been a pretty long one. I know we didn't get too much simulating done, but we made a big trade, and we did get a couple months done. Uh, Adam Lowry is available to play. All right, so I only missed a game. Hollis Chuck, Frazier, and Lowry. There we go. Ah. Uh, can't be losing games, guys. We've gone three, three and three now in our last six. Ah, oh, three and four. Oh, we just can't get any bit of, like, we just can't get a winning streak going. We're just constantly losing. Every time we win a game, we lose one to match it. Oh, my God. We're losing to some of the worst teams in the league, too. Yeah, I bet these guys are angry. I'm not happy with the team right now. Oh, God, another Frazier comment. Need to be put on the ice more. I can't help the team when I'm not getting minutes. Well... Oh, now, what did I say? I want to give them the response that I wouldn't normally do if I was trying to be nice. Look, you have to prove to me that you're more. I'm not seeing what I expect. Negative. You know, I, I don't care. It's Frazier. He's going to have a negative impact for anything. Feeling good about my performance. All right. Uh, there's a lot to be proud of. Good work. What? I give him a compliment and there's no fat man. Morale is just broken. Like, there needs to be... They need to edit this a little bit. 
Like that, he should have positive, I just gave him a flat out compliment. And he's just like, nah, whatever. I just wanted to tell you, I don't care about your response. Uh, you know, I think the front office is making a lot of smart decisions. Thank you, Alice Chuck. I guess it's good you feel positive, but really it doesn't change how we do our job. Now, see, normally I wouldn't pick that. I don't know. I, I really, it's, it's a guessing game. Like, I have no idea what makes their, like, what makes it go up. Well, thanks a lot. I think we have a good crew that know what they're doing. I mean, they can't be negative, right? No effect. I'll take that because I don't know what is positive or not anymore. So we're 80%. That seems to just fluctuate every time we win or lose. All right, so we're at the All-Star game. I'll just show you guys. We can't click on it. Game morale. All right, so we can't click on it at all. It's not letting us click on it. If we simulate past, it doesn't tell us about it at all. Yeah, we just simulated it. And it doesn't tell us like a score or anything. It's just it's just happened. It's gone. Uh, but yeah, so in this episode, we traded for Yarmir Yager. We traded for Willie Mitchell. Looks like we actually have another player meeting, so let's just end it off on this. we got a couple months of simulating done. doesn't look like we're going to be a playoff team if we keep playing like this. But that's all right. All right, Dustin Bufflin wants to meet again. God, Bufflin just keep, keeps wanting to talk to me. I really have to admit I'm thrilled with my playing time. All right, Bufflin. We know. <clears throat> we know, man. Don't think you can let your play drop because you those minutes you have to keep working hard. Great. We found a balance. Whatever. Uh, keep it hard. Uh, keep up the hard work. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Keep up the hard work. Negative. Yeah, EA, it's, 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 it's broken. I mean, that doesn't make any sense, man. I tell Dustin Bufflin... Before I told him, great job, you deserve to like, give yourself a pat on the back or something like that, you know, something of that nature, and it doesn't give him any uh, effect at all. Then I tell him, great job, keep it up, and it's a negative, if, negative effect? That doesn't make any sense. They really need to edit the player morale, because like, the responses, that is, that is, uh, that's a big problem. It, it's really all over the place. Like, it doesn't even matter what you pick. It's all random, basically. Have ah, whatever. Uh, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. In the next episode, we'll probably be able to simulate up to the trade deadline, depending on how many injuries and everything happen. But yeah, so that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.